producer of radio's outstanding theater of thrills, the master of mystery and adventure, William N. Robeson. No generality is ever completely true, including that one. Take the old saw which states what people don't know won't hurt them, and that other pious assurance of the triumph of good over evil, which states murder will out. The upcoming story nearly disproves both these mossy axioms. The murder almost succeeded, and the murderer almost was not hurt by what he didn't know. But in the end, he was hoist by his own paper hanger. Listen, listen then, as Mr. Lloyd Bridges stars in Pigeon in the Cage. And now, Mr. Lloyd Bridges in Pigeon in the Cage, a tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. I'm Gerald Brewer. I'm 31 years old. I'm a paper hanger. I got a wife and I got a kid on the way. She'd like to be home now. Wish I were out of here. Right under the button here, it says, uh, ring in case of emergency. But nothing happens. I've been ringing this bell for the last hour. Nothing happens. Nobody's home. I know that, but uh, I don't know what else to do except ring this bell. I'm stuck in an elevator in a private house between the first and second floor. The overhead light went out a few minutes ago, and I can hardly see. This uh, elevator isn't very big. It holds uh, all three people, four. There's a lever here for floor stops. But uh, uh, something's going wrong. The elevator won't move. And uh, there's two buttons here, one that rings a bell and the other for emergency stops. Overhead, maybe about, uh, oh, eight feet from the floor is a little door, maybe about uh, six inches square. I don't know what that's for. That's a pretty old elevator and a pretty old house. Can't squeeze out of it, that's for sure. Three walls of this thing are cherry wood, and the front of it is a folding iron gate. I got on it on the fourth floor where I was paper in the library. That was five o'clock, and I was quitting work. Then the elevator got stuck. And nobody's home. I've been yelling my lungs out, ringing the bell, calling for Mrs. Rogers, who owns this house, and pounding the wall. Uh, nobody's home. I'm stuck. The elevator's stuck right above the first floor, right above the living room. So uh, lying down like this, I can see into it through a gap. No bigger than a quarter inch. Uh, I'm worried a little about my wife because, well, uh, because she'll worry. But there's nothing I can do but wait. Relax and wait. All right. You all right, Janice? That's what woke me. If someone was home and talking, I was going to yell out and let them know that I was stuck in the elevator right above their heads. You've got to kill her. But you see, the only way to do it, kill her dead. All right, all right. You've got nothing to worry about. I'll kill her when she gets home. Okay? Okay, Jenny? When your wife's dead, I'll be okay. Hey, how about the music? I'll put out some records. Relax. Harry? What? What about the gun? Don't worry. Do me a favor, will you, Harry? Let me worry. Let me know what all you... All right, the gun's upstairs, second floor, my bedroom. Listen, Jenny. You don't even have to be there when it happens. Aren't your wife coming home? So, Look. You want a drink? Maybe. I don't know. Come on. Let's go to the kitchen. Mix a drink. I don't know who the girl is. I never saw her before. What I could make out of her looking through the gap is that uh, she's a lot younger than Mr. Rogers. Uh, that, that was Mr. Rogers. I knew that right away without looking at him. I remembered his voice because we'd had a discussion about uh, wallpaper pattern 1216B. Uh, it was uh, Sunday strollers in the park uh, for the library on the, on the fourth floor. Well, if he was going to kill his wife and I just heard about it, what do you think he'd do to me? 
All I had to do was yell out and let him know what I'd heard. Uh, listen, I, I got a wife and a kid in the way. I, I'm a boy who figures on hanging a lot more paper before he dies. My, my family expects it of me. Besides, what am I supposed to do? Yell out, uh, hey, I'm hanging up here in the elevator and I just heard what you said. Uh, how do I know that Mr. Rogers wouldn't kill me, huh? Uh, I guess all I can do is just, well, just stay here and hope that I can think of something. Better. You better, Janice? The drink did it. I'm fine. Uh, what shall we do? What do you mean? Why waiting? I don't mind waiting now. I, I feel fine. We left the party. We were dancing. Let's dance. Uh, Janice. Janice. What's the matter? Nothing. Let's just not laugh, that's all. Let's not do anything to make the other one laugh. Now who's nervous? She ought to be coming home soon. Let go of me. I'm lost. Nothing wrong, Harry. Just right now, let go of me. Okay, okay. I better go upstairs and get the gun. Found the thing is stuck. What? The elevator. Stuck again. The door down in the basement keeps swinging open and stops it. Stuck. Sure it's stuck. Look, look right over your head. Oh, yeah. Harry. What? Suppose someone's in that elevator. Are you kidding? Suppose someone's in that elevator, Harry. How could anybody... Tell me how it got stuck. How do I know how it got Suppose stuck? Suppose someone's on that elevator and heard everything we said. Now, look, it's happened a hundred times before. Suppose the elevator went upstairs and I stood here and rang for it. The elevator would start, but if the basement door swung open, the elevator would stop. All right. You're satisfied? All right. It happened to my wife. And she walked instead of closing the door in the basement. It happened All right, all right. Guns in the bedroom. I'll walk upstairs and get it. Mr. Rogers went to get the gun. I could hear him go into his bedroom, where yesterday I papered with the uh, hunters on horseback pattern. I watched the girl that he called Janice. She sat on the sofa for a little while, and she got up, folded her arms, and walked around the room. She stopped in front of the elevator. Anybody in there? Anybody in there? She kept looking at the gap where the floor of the elevator was a quarter inch above the top of the door. But the light was out in the elevator and it was black. I hugged the far wall. She couldn't see me. Then Mr. Rogers came back downstairs. You're not satisfied, are you? What do you mean? Looking at the elevator. Well, I'm satisfied. Well? I tell you, I'm okay. Mm. Uh... Would it make you feel better if I went down to the basement and shut the door down there, stop the elevator in your seat? Forget it. It would make you feel better, wouldn't it? Leave me alone, will you? Janice. Stop it, Harry, please. You want to forget it, Janice? You want to go back to the party and... No, 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 no. Listen, I'll go down and close the elevator down in the basement. All right. That's what's upsetting you, isn't it? You're afraid someone's in there. Yes. Well, why didn't you say so? Please go downstairs and close it. Harry. Yeah. Yeah, it's her. You wait here. Yeah. I'll do it out in the garage. the way the safe behind that picture. Just here. tell me to move it. I'll move. Don't push me anymore, Harry. I'm sorry. 12 to the right, 18 to the left, 20 to... Harry, the phone. I know it's the phone. Answer it. What? Answer it. Say you're Mrs. Rogers and get rid of whoever it is in a hurry. Say you'll call back. Hello? Yes. Yes, this is Mrs. Rogers. Who? Paper hanger? No, I'm, I'm sure of it. Yes, yes, goodbye. Harry. What is it? 
Was there a paper hanger here today? Huh? Well, I guess so. The place is being papered. Why? That was his wife, Mrs. Brewer. Oh? Huh? He's not home. She expected him home hours ago. She knew he was here. Harry, the elevator. Yeah. Brewer. You up there? What about it, Brewer? You up there? Okay, Brewer, don't bother to answer. I'll find out whether you're up there. And if you are, you're dead. <laughs> We did. Harry... Wait a second, will you? Brewer! You heard what I said, didn't you? If you're in there, I'll kill you. Janet, get me a chair. Maybe if I stand or not, I can see him. Brewer! Brewer, you won't be able to hide in there for very long, Brewer. Can you see him, Harry? I don't know. Black in there. This lid is all I have to look through. Turn off that music, will you? What's the music got to do with... Turn it off! Harry. What? Listen, Harry. We're getting panicky, both of us. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're wrong. Maybe the paper hanger just stopped at the corner bar and got loaded and never got home. Maybe... We've got to find out. Got to get out of here, Janice. Back to the party. I'll go down to the basement and close that elevator door and bring it down. All right. You wait here. Harry. Pour yourself a drink, Janice. You look terrible. Why don't you just wait to hear what I have to say? All right. What do you want? Take the gun with you, in case he's there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wouldn't you think that my wife had... No. No, it wasn't her fault for calling. For being worried, for being such a good wife. But if she hadn't called, Mr. Rogers and that girl would have gone away. Ah, we always blame somebody else when we're in trouble, don't we? Well, one thing I'm sure of. Mr. Rogers has a gun in his hand. And the other thing... The other thing that I'm sure of is that he isn't kidding I'm positive that he isn't kidding. The man who's just killed his wife isn't a kidding type. Now, now here's what he's about to do. Close the basement elevator gate, push the button, and bring the elevator down. Then he's going to open the door, see me, shoot me. A man with a family, like I said, and I got a good trade, paper hanging. And a lot of things I'd like to enjoy in life. So I don't want to die. You know what my life depends on right now? This button. Mark emergency stop. Mr. Rogers closes the gate and tries to bring the elevator down to the basement. And me inside the elevator, I keep my finger on the emergency stop button and I pray. Ah, oh, nothing happens. The elevator doesn't move. Janice! What's the matter? You doing anything up there? What? What do you mean? Pressing a button or anything? I'm not doing anything, Harry. Well, something's wrong. What? What's the matter? I don't know. Just in case, I'm going to leave this door open, Janice, and I'm coming up. Mister. Mister, if you're in there, mister. If you're in there in that elevator and you... You know what's happened. And if there's some way the three of us can get together so that... Nobody has to get hurt anymore. Listen. All right, we killed his wife. You don't know what she was. You don't know what she was. She was... Janice. Janice, what are you doing? Maybe we can reason with him if he's in there. Maybe all we have to do is explain why it happened and, and maybe uh, tell him 
Tell him we're not so bad. You know what I think, Janice? I think there's no one in there. There is. There is. I know it, Harry. All right. We'll make sure. Come on. We'll go upstairs up to the second floor. I've got a way to make sure. How? I'll climb down into the elevator from the second floor. There's a little trap door on top. I'll open it, strike a light. I'll find out. Come on. Have you got matches, Harry? I'll use my lighter. I got the trap door open. Can you see him? Wait. There. Uh-uh. Now I'm going to have to... Hey! Uh, hey, what is it? What's the matter? He's in there, Janice. When I reached in, he knocked the lighter out of my hand. He's in there. Kill him. Kill him. You've got to kill him. No, we don't. It's all right now. It's all right that he's in there. What do you mean? We killed my wife, right? We were going to take her jewelry. We'd make it look like a robbery and murder. Would make it look like she surprised the thief. She was coming home and the thief was leaving? Yes. Well, don't you see? I'll bring her body up here to the bedroom, and then I'll throw the jewelry in the elevator, empty the gun, throw it in. He'll be the thief. The murderer trapped in the elevator. Hey. How do you like that, brother? You'll be the murderer. Do it. Just do it, Harry. It's going to be all right. Just do it. I'll be right back. We know you're in there, mister. Just a couple of feet below. Listen, mister. What do you want? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Paperhanger Brewer. You think that you... What? If you think that you can get away with it... I tried to reason with you. All I wanted you to do was to go away. I talked to your wife. She was worried, wasn't she? If you'd listened to me, you could have been home by now. How can I listen to you after what you did? I tried to explain it to you, and you wouldn't listen. Mr. Rogers was a married man. You carried on with him, didn't you? You know what? What? He shot his wife, but you're just as much a murderer as he is. I know. Now, how can you expect me to listen to you? I don't want anybody else to get hurt. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Honest. How about the way you said, kill him, kill him, huh? Me and me. Well, what about that? Because you had to act so smart. Because you didn't answer when I talked to you. Yeah, I saw you. What do you mean? When you were downstairs in the living room. I was lying down on the floor in there and I saw you. I can't understand how anybody who looks like you can do what you did. What does your wife look like? Why? What do you look like? <laughs> uh, you don't even know me. You don't even know what a man looks like and you're going to do what you're going to do. Yes, I am. Mister? Mister? Mister Paperhanger, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Why don't you answer me? <laughs> Give me a hand, Janice. Janice, what's the matter? Yeah. It's almost over here. Just here. Put it down. Yeah. Yeah. I got the jewelry. Here, hold it a minute. I just want to take the rest of the bullets out of this gun. No. Wait a minute. What did you have to do that for? Now there's no more bullets in the gun. Bullets are in the wall. I'll knock over the furniture. Make this place look like a mess. Like she put up a fight. Now, what do you have to do? Just climb down there again on top of the elevator, that's all. I told her it would be over in a minute. Hey, you! Brother! Not talking, huh? I don't mind. I'm going to give you something, brother. Here, jewelry, bracelet, and a necklace. 
Worth a lot of money, Brewer. Here's a gun, too. Empty, because it's the one you killed my wife with. <laughs> Have fun, Brewer. Can you believe it? Just, just look what's happened to me. I'm papering the house. I get caught in an elevator. And now I'm going to be blamed for murder. And there's nothing that I can do about it. Rogers and the girl are on the first floor now. He's helping her with her coat. She still looks shaky. I can lie down on the floor and see him through the gap. Hey. Hey, they're starting to leave. Ah, uh, Mr. Rogers. You're not going to get away with it, Mr. Rogers. Before you go, you better think about something. What about the fingerprints? What about the fingerprints and the gun, Mr. Rogers? You forgot to wipe them off, didn't you? Hello, Mr. Rogers. I'm lying down on the floor of the elevator, and I'm looking out of the gap, and I can see you. Hello, miss. I'm in here, and you're out there. But you're the ones that are trapped now. Mr. Brewer. What do you want, Mr. Rogers? Mr. Brewer, I... Harry. He's right, isn't he? Your fingerprints are on the gun. Mr. Brewer, I guess we'd better make some arrangements, shouldn't we? Janet. What? Go down to the basement and shut the elevator door. Then Mr. Brewer will be able to bring the elevator down. Go ahead, Janice. Hurry. How does it feel? Well, the first thing I want to tell you is that you can keep the jewels. How does it feel to be trapped? Now, really, now, we'll talk this over. It feels terrible, doesn't it? But when you come out of the elevator... I don't think so. I don't know whether I'm going to come out or not. Not now. It's closed, Harry. Come on up. All I have to do is keep my finger on this emergency stop button, and you can't move this elevator an inch. Now, let's be reasonable. You killed your wife, Mr. Rogers. How do I know what else you got down there that you might kill me with? Do you think I would... Yeah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> you know what a silly question that is, don't you? Look, I got this gun of yours, and it's proof that you killed her. And no amount of arguing that you can think of can change that. Money. I got lots of money. I don't think money is important right now. Well, why... He you... won't come out. What? No, sir. I'm not coming out. I got you two where I want you, and I'm not moving. Janice, tell him how rich I am, how much I can do for him. Harry. Tell him, tell him. Harry. All the things I can do. All the things you can do. Look what you can do. Haven't you done enough already? Look what you can do. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. I didn't mean to. Oh. You're not dead. You're not dead, Janice. Dead, Janice. Dead, Janice. Dead, Janice. No, no. I didn't mean to. You're not dead, Janice. Yeah, Mr. You're not Rogers, dead. yeah. Look You're at the things dead, that you can do. Okay. Jerry, dear. No, 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 everything's fine. Yeah, in just a little while. No, no, really, everything's fine. I'll tell you about it when I get home. I uh, got stuck in an elevator is all. I said I got stuck in an elevator. Suspense. In which Lloyd Bridges starred in William N. Robeson's production of Pigeon in the Cage, written by Morton Fine and David Friedkin. Listen. Listen again next week when we return with another tale well calculated to keep you in... Suspense.
supporting Mr. Bridges in Pigeon in the Cage were Ellen Morgan and Joe DeSantis. Mm-hmm. 